Hi people. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most popular shows of the past couple of months, 1883. The show recently released its episode 7 and finally introduced some Native American characters, whom we love to see. But before diving into who this new, mysterious character is, let's discuss what 1883 is about. 1883 is a prequel series to Yellowstone, the biggest show in the US as of 2022. Yellowstone has been breaking records since it got first released four years ago. Its latest achievement has been the fact that the Yellowstone season 4 season finale got watched by more than 10.2 million people, meaning that the show has a fan base larger than a lot of countries in the world. As you can see, this is a remarkable success that many other shows can only dream of, and it's clear that the audience demands more of it. 1883 is the result of those demands as the creator of Yellowstone, Taylor Sheridan, decided to expand the universe by introducing a couple of new shows. 1883 has special importance since it's a historical fiction piece that's taking place in the 19th century. Still, it has a major connection with the Yellowstone since it follows the ancestors of the Duttons on their journey to find the Yellowstone Ranch. Unfortunately, so far in the show, the Duttons couldn't even reach Montana as of yet. Instead, they're on a long road trip where they are accompanied by a large group of German migrants headed by a local man named Shea. The journey isn't a fun one by any means, since it's filled with dangers and tragedy. From the very first episode of the show, we have been witnessing characters being killed off by multiple reasons, from the bandits to the poisonous waters. By this point, we got used to seeing deaths. Our peak point has become the one where Ennis has died a couple of episodes ago, as he was an essential character for the show. He was not only a young man with an important value to the crew, but also was the lover of Elsa. Besides, his death took place just before the couple was about to get married, which only added to the tragedy. Since then, we have been watching Elsa, who lost her will to live and experience life. Instead, our beloved narrator is experiencing depression and loneliness that often leads her to violent acts. Her chain shocks even her parents who don't know what to do to bring her back to her usual self. Thankfully, in episode 7, we witnessed Elsa acknowledging the presence of tragedy in life and starting to learn with it, rather than riding against it. Episode 7 started with the crew entering the Native American territory. There, they got a chef who not only cooks but also divided the food between the crew equally so that they can eliminate the threat of hunger. Meanwhile, Elsa met with Sam, a young Native American man who has been through a lot just like Elsa did. His wife got killed by someone named Sam and then he killed him and took his name to claim that he has been the victorious party in the end. The two started to bond over the loss of their loved ones and it became apparent immediately that they shared unique chemistry that only the two could understand. They had a horse race in which Elsa won with her horse lightning. In the meantime, a tornado started to approach the crew, which was an unexpected turn of events. In the wide and empty land, there was no place to hide. Elsa went to rescue the cattle while the rest of the crew just crouched down and waited for it to pass. The tornado was a major threat to everything and, when it hit Elsa and Sam, it caused the two to stick together and kiss so that they can take strength from each other and survive the incident. Through all of the crew surviving the tornado, their possessions were not as lucky. They lost their food, money, and most importantly, carriages. Then, they learned that their cattle were lost as thieves surrounded the poor cows. They immediately went there to fight the thieves, which was a success even though all the men, particularly James, Shay, and Thomas, got injured. This adventurous tale has also marked the end of Sam and Elsa's friendship, as they had to go to separate ways despite regarding each other very highly. Throughout the episode, we watched the happiness of Elsa in finding someone else who shares similar experiences with her. However, it wasn't the only theme that the episode got tackled down. It also focused on the fear of the loss of not only personal belongings, but also loved ones, while Elsa and James often go after the adventure and show no fear in face of any threats for Margaret. It's unbearable to watch them throw themselves in front of every danger as if they are nothing. At the end of the episode, Margaret killed a man whom she thought to have harmed Elsa, and it became yet another turning point for her. Margaret had already witnessed the inability to save someone during the tragedy of the river crossing. Now, she is constantly facing the fear of losing Elsa and James and we feel like, in the upcoming episodes, she will have tighter precautions to not risk losing them at any cost. Did you enjoy episode 7 of 1883? Do you have any expectations from the season finale of the series? Are you willing to watch season 2 as well? 
Who is your favorite character to watch in 1883? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.